What's going on guys? It's your boy King Solomon back here with another video from Marvel's Avengers and today we are back with some matchmaking updates. Today the developers have revealed on their blog that we're going to be receiving some very cool matchmaking features um, beside like with voting, voting the kick, voting the start missions, voting the leave missions, voting to reset the checkpoint, voting to do everything and I love this about the game like I love well I love this going forward for the game because a lot of MMOs have this a lot of um, RPGs that you can play with other players online have this and this is a feature that this game definitely really needed I got tired of people just sitting in the elevator while you're doing a villain sector or doing a very important mission and people are just sitting in the fucking elevator or just standing at the spawn point not playing I really wanted to be able to boot those players then and I'm happy with that we can do it now this just means that um going forward in the game it'll be a much better player experience or a much better team experience because you'll have actual people that want to play and if you don't have people that want that you know don't want to play they just want to sit there and be idle you can kick them out of the fucking team out of the game and hopefully join in progress is going to be working by this time when they implement this feature because by that point we'll be able to get another person in to replace that person that we just kicked out and that is that re that right there makes the most sense as to why they're going to be implementing vote to kick and all these other cool voting features because um join in progress was already announced to be in development a couple months ago um, we haven't heard anything about it since but since um it's been some time you know they already said they are working on it so development happens you know <laughs> as gaming does as gaming development do and i feel like join in progress will be coming in this update um in march uh just because of the simple fact that with this new voting voting system for voting to reload the checkpoint voting to kick people voting to um launch to the quinjet voting to cancel a mission voting to do uh, just little stuff like that. Things that we weren't able to do before. We just literally, it took one person to veto everything that you wanted to do. Um, if you wanted to start a permission, if you wanted to go back to the checkpoint, if you wanted to go to the Quinjet, you, somebody would just veto it and it just wouldn't happen. So these things are definitely pretty cool to see coming to the game um they're also going to be implementing or updating the quick match option you're going to be uh if you use quick match you're only going to be put up with people that are also using quick match you will no longer be put up with people that are not using quick match when you use when you select quick match um full teams i guess or not full teams but people that already have another person on their team if you have like another squad member you can still queue up for a quick match now and you will take that person into the whatever mission you go into when you find quick match with you um that is cool i don't i don't use quick match so if you guys are using quick match that's definitely cool for you guys that, that are using it you probably will have a better experience now um with other people that are using quick match and when you join someone else's strike team you will no longer go through that very long loading screen and then go to the connecting screen and then go back to the main menu and then go into another loading screen so what will happen now instead of going through all those loading screens connecting you'll just go straight to their quinjet um on the ps5 that's kind of what happens but it's uh it's not as as it's very fast but um on the PS4 and other in the uh, PS in the other generations like the Xbox, I don't know Xbox Series X. I don't keep up with Xboxes, so forgive me. But um, you will also go straight to the Quinjet. I know that there's like a long, a longer loading screen that you guys see on the older on the other consoles, but um, that loading screen won't be there anymore. And I'm happy for that because it, it just took too long sometimes to join up on people and that really killed it killed the fun for a lot of people sometimes in the game and i'm happy that they're working on that so kudos to the developers for working on these um implements and updates that we all needed uh these features that we all needed that they're implementing 
and um, the voting to kick option, the join in progress stuff, the patrol, and all the other content that's coming. It very, it seems like all of that stuff is um, going to make the game. What well, it, it looks like, most of that stuff is preparing us for uh, patrol mode and um, all the high level in game content like the raid and. Um, Stuff like this should have been in the game before the raid came out in Omega Level Threat. I definitely agree to those of you that are saying that. But um, better late than never. That's what I'll also say to that. So what do you guys have to, have to say about the updates that are coming to the matchmaking system? What do you guys think about it? I think they're awesome. I think that these updates are something that this game definitely needed. Now all we just need is joining progress and we're all good to go. We were all we was we set all the way up for uh, patrol mode and all these other in-game content activities. So, with that being said, I am out. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I just wanted to provide to provide you guys with some more updates regarding to the game because I know some people have stopped supporting it. I will ever will will for never <laughs> will for never. We'll never stop supporting this game. I love it. You know, it's the only game that on it's the only game that on next gen consoles where you where you can play with all the Avengers in an RPG setting. Um, well, not all the Avengers, but you know what I mean, the core Avengers. Um, we're hopefully going to be getting to all the Avengers if they get to release all the Avengers. But um, man, this game, there's no other experience like this game when it comes to. Uh, just playing in a superhero game uh yeah it, it lacks some things but this experience where you can just go online with your friends as an as an as a uh the avengers and um with the movie costumes or comic book costumes whatever you prefer the builds you can make with these characters it is just it's wild i've I don't think we'll get a game like this uh, probably until next year. Another game like this to next year, like Suicide Squad or Gotham Knights, if they play similar to this. So, that being said, I'm out. Peace, y'all. Like and subscribe to the channel if y'all are new. Da -da -da.